Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. I am the C-H-A-L-L, -L, and today, Chell Chats, Hansa Park. Hansa Park is a underrated theme park in Europe, and we've got plenty of updates over this past week to really enthrall you and really bring you in to the future plans and current happenings at Hansa Park. Before we get started with all these updates, make sure you do like, comment, subscribe, click the notification bell so you never miss another YouTube video. We're on the road to 3,000 subscribers and half a million views. We are not too far away at all. So please, 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 let's get there as soon as possible. And please keep supporting the channel as you always do. We're trying to give a theme park news update or a theme park video daily. So please, please, please stay tuned because you never know. A park near you may be featured on this channel. And for now, guys, let's have a look at everything that's been going on at Hansa Park over this last week. So before we get into the big one, which is Hansa Park's best kept secret for 2025, we have to look at some smaller updates. So first of all, Cafe Nova. The new premium cafe casts its pink shadow ahead, according to the Hansa Park newsletter, where you can find the link to all this in the description down below. Now that everyone is involved in the project is already dreaming pink at night, we've arrived in the final assembly, tasting and fine-tuning phase in a good mood and highly motivated. At the very end is the freestyle decoration with great attention to detail. And as you can see by the images, Flying across your screen from Hansa Park and the Hansa Park newsletter, Cafe Nova is an exceptional, graceful new dining experience. And they've definitely made some wonderful touches to really add some class, grace and beauty to this dining experience. Cafe Nova is a once in a lifetime and I'm sure as guests, you can't wait to try it. The new attraction for 2024 is the Lost Trails of Roanoke. The elements of this new adventure trail, which were specially made for Hansa Park, are currently being installed and a first look at the trail shows the interactive adventure tour of the Lost Trails of Roanoke with Delight Adventurous Hearts. Now the Lost Trails of Roanoke is an exceptional new underrated attraction for people to explore and discover new adventures as they await using interactive elements and an amazing attraction experience overall. And as you can see by the newest construction details from the Hansa Park newsletter and from Hansa Park itself, the new attraction is set to be a delight for many young adventurers. We do have some sad news from Hansa Park, as the iconic Holstein Term 100 meter high observation tower, which opened back in 1988, will not open for the new season and will in fact be removed from the park. It was the highest attraction in Hansa Park from its opening until the 2019 season, but it was then replaced in terms of height record by the Highlander Gyro Drop Tower with a total height of 120 meters. The park confirmed in their monthly newsletter that due to them not being able to operate the attraction reliably anymore, the iconic tower will be dismantled at the end of the 2024 season, which squashes any potential rumors and speculation of that site being included into the overall location of the best kept secrets. And the best kept secret is what we're gonna finalize this news update on. The foundation for their project has been laid. The area which will host the project will be the Hanseatic League in Europe. This could give us an idea of storyline and theme. Now, what is the Hanseatic League? Well, the Hanseatic League was a medieval commercial and defensive network of merchant guilds and market towns in Central and Northern Europe. This leads to me that this will be themed to one of the countries in the Hanseatic League and a real blend of European culture and cuisine will be featured in this area. The project area is approximately to be 2,000 metres squared. We've done a full video analysing what I think they could be doing for the site and you can look at that video in the description down below. So what are my overall thoughts then on the recent activity at Hansa Park in Germany? First of all, Cafe Nova is a delightful new dining experience. And for me, they've added some really nice touches to the inside and really give it this real pink and proud, graceful look to it. And I think it adds a real beauty and a real renaissance to that area of the park and to that particular dining experience. Now then, what about the closure of Holstein Term? Obviously, it's very, very sad to be losing an iconic attraction. Of course, another observation tower will be leaving the theme park industry those are iconic classic attractions who of you over there in america remember space spiral over at cedar point that was an iconic attraction and of course that was removed along with disaster transport to make way for gatekeeper the bulgar and mabiard wing coaster for 2013 at the time obviously holstein turn was not going to be reliably run anymore so the park had to make a decision do they struggle to run it for another year 
or do they dismantle it? And the park, in my opinion, chose the safe option and the best option, which is to dismantle the ride at the end of this season, ready to make way for future development. And for me personally, I think that was the right decision to do. Now, what about the best kept secret? What about the best kept secret? This looks like an incredible attraction could be brewing at Hansa Park. And this could be a fantastic new ride. I'm going to still stick by my original prediction over in the original video, which again, I have linked in the description down below. I personally believe that this will be a dart ride, or an indoor attraction of some kind. There is plenty of things you could do with this building. You could go with the walking conveyor belt type of attraction, which is, of course, the Minions Villain Con type attraction over at Universal. They could go with a version of that. They could go with a tracked or trackless dart ride system. There are plenty of different ones that could fit in that specific location. In a 2,000 meter square site, for me, I feel like there's plenty of creative possibilities and really genius opportunities to create something really indulging, really immersive, really interactive, and really bring guests into the story that you're trying to tell during this attraction. So my prediction will still stand as an indoor or dart ride attraction. But what do you think? Comment down below and I'll read off your thoughts. Here at Chow Chats, we're looking forward to trying to get to Hansa Park as soon as we can to experience the best kept secret opening in 2025. So thank you very much guys for watching this video. Make sure you do like, comment, subscribe. And for now, I am the C-H-A-L-L. Ta-ra for now.